Hi, this is L.A. Parker with Couch Time, and you're on City to City Radio. Today, oh, it's Good Friday. Oh, wow. Um, some of you are off, some of you are not, but happy Good Friday, those of us who are, uh, who are, who practice the Christian faith. Uh, we celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, and, um, Today, uh, we're going to talk about something that's very similar, it, unconditional love. <laughs> Stay tuned. So, unconditional love. Unconditional love is the act of loving without condition. The act of loving in spite of a person's do's, don'ts, flaws. Uh, the act of loving regardless on what a person's actions are, what they do. Unconditional love is, is really not about what the person does, but it's about you. Uh, an example um, of people who are people of faith. We receive our salvation because not of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, but how God feels about us. And so unconditional love is that we extend that to other people, the same mythology. It's shocking to me that people, they get into major relationships with, without even the intentions of loving 100%. How can you do that? How can you actually get involved with someone knowing that you're not going to give 100% of yourself? There's always a contingency plan, an exit strategy. How, I mean, how fair is that? How fair is it to the other person and how fair is that to you? That you're really not going to give love a real, real chance. So, we don't have any guests today, but I want you guys to challenge yourself. Really, really think about unconditional love. Okay, so let's just take it personal. I'll, I'll look, use myself for an example, okay? Am I willing to get in, get involved with someone or um, choose a forever person knowing that when they make a certain kind of mistake, <laughs> peace, right? <laughs> if he does this right here, that's it, that's it, right? No, okay? Even if you choose to, to exit, doesn't mean that you stop loving a person. Unconditional love does not mean that you have to be in close proximity or you have to cohabitat. Unconditional love is just that. It's, the, it's the how you feel and how you treat a person. How you feel about that person. I will always, always love you till the end of time. Doesn't mean I have to be with you, but it means I'll always love you. That means that I want the best for you. Just like God loves us in spite of what we do, he wants the best for us, right? So I want the best for the person that I was involved with, you know? I, I want them to be happy. I want them to prosper even as their soul prospers, you know? So I want that for them because that's really, really what love is about. Not, oh, I heard he just... Just burn up and die. <laughs> I hope we just get ran over by a Mack truck. <laughs> you know, because sometimes hurt makes that happen. Hurt, hurt really makes us bitter, and hurt is the opposite of 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 faith and love. When you, when a person is is hurting, it's hard for them to extend uh, mercy. It's hard for them them to extend love when a person is hurt. Can you look? Past what a person does to you? Hmm. It's a question, right? Well, I say challenge yourself, child. Challenge yourself. Uh, I do. You know, I've been in some, some very rocky situations or relationships as well. And regardless on who was the cause, sometimes you, you're hurt in the process. But at the end of the day, I still will love that person. I still want the best for that person because of who I am, not because of who they are. So that's a note from the couch, you guys. We need to self-evaluate and think about what real unconditional love is. Unconditional love is unconditional, without conditions, without contingency plans. You know, that's why our relationships are not working. Whether you're dating, whether you're married, even friendships. 
People are having contingencies with friendships. He made me mad. She made me mad. I'm, I'm through with them. You can be, you can not deal with a person on a day to day basis and still love them. You can. I will still send you food. I'll still check on you. You know, even if I don't have dialogue with you, I'll, you know, ask somebody else, are they okay? You know, let's learn how to love again. I think that's the equation. Learning how to love again and not just fair weather love unconditional love only on the couch you guys you guys have a wonderful weekend for the children they have a four-day extended weekend good for y'all because i wish i had one too <laughs> but i love you from the couch and you guys have an awesome awesome holiday